Our laboratory focuses on the cartilage repair using tissue engineering approaches. To achieve this goal, it is essential to first understand how cartilage developments under normal physiological conditions. The growth plate is a critical structure for cartilage development and skeleton elongations in most of the vertebrates. In this work, we utilized an unbiased single-cell transcriptome sequencing and advanced bioinformatic approaches to reconstruct the development of the growth plate. The growth plate is composed of at least four hierarchical zones, which are aligned along the longitudinal axis of the bone. The proliferative chondrocyte gradually differentiated into the prehypertrophic chondrocyte, followed by the hypertrophic chondrocytes. A total of 217 single cells were captured by a C1 microfluidic system, which was followed by a RNA sequencing in order to analyze the gene expression profile of each single cell. We integrated multiple statistical analyses and developed a single cell biometrics pipeline called SINOVA to systematically reconstruct this development process. SINOVA starts with the gene expression data of each cell. It consists of three parts. Heterogeneity discovery with the sequenced single cells, computational reconstruction of the developmental process, and the regulatory network prediction for transcriptional factors active during development. We first start with the heterogeneity discovery. Consensus clustering was used to account for the correlation between bodily similar cells throughout the growth plate. At least three distinct cell populations were reviewed. In parallel, we performed a dimensionality reduction based principal component analysis to reduce the high dimension expression data across these single cells to three dimensions and captured innate single cell characteristics. We next try to reconstruct the growth plate development by rearranging the single cells that lost their temporal and spatial information during single cell sampling. Single cells were projected into three-dimensional PCA space, whereby the Euclidean distance in the 3D PCA reflects the transcriptional similarity among the single cells. The assumption was that the single cell with greater similarity were at much closer stages of the differentiation process. We next aligned the similar cells and determined a pathway that represented the developmental timeline, whereby the distance between the neighborhood cells were regarded as the representing a positive temporal timeline. To this rearrangement, all genes were clustered based on their expression trends. As an example, the previously non-hypertrophic marker collagen 10 was most highly expressed in the cells corresponding to the late stage of differentiation on the pseudo tempo timeline. More than 600 genes that were dynamically regulated were clustered into six clusters. Transcriptional factors and cofactors are critical participants in the regulation of growth plate development. We reasoned a TF with more significance which shared high co-expression correlation with a larger number of genes dynamically regulated during the developmental process. We first inspected TF expression patterns in single-cell data. We found both binary and continuous expression patterns. To account for correlation between both expression patterns, SINOVA methodologically calculates the connectivity score by interpreting both the odds ratio and Spearman rank correlation which comprehensively reflects the co-expression patterns among TFs and genes across the timeline. Applying this methodology, we divided the growth plate development process into two main state transitions. For each transition, we predict the potentially important transcriptional factors based on their connectivity score. It is notable that several important non-transcriptional factors in growth plate development were successfully recaptured by this unsupervised approach. To recapitulate, we developed the pipeline SINOVA using a combination of computational models to successfully reconstruct the growth plate development based on the transcriptome of 217 single cells. Our model enhances the systematic understanding of the complexity of the growth plate development. In addition, our bioinformatics pipeline should be easily applicable to other tissue or organ developmental process. Thank you for watching.